Gymnastics is a very demanding sport. In that one and a half minutes that uh, I execute my routine, there's no room for mistakes. You have to be perfect. When I actually do achieve what I want to achieve, the sense of satisfaction is just amazing. So I like that challenge because I get to push myself to the limit. It's a perfectionist sport where there's an end point. So it kind of gives me uh, this very strong drive to, to work towards that end point. I started when I was seven, but the first few years were uh, very recreational, so it only got serious because um, I qualified for the 2001 SEA Games when I was 12. I definitely know that I missed out a bit of my childhood compared to my peers. Initially, I did feel a bit resentful, like, you know, I, I should be going out to play and catching up with my friends, but why am I in the gym every day? The gymnastics is what I wanted to go into, and when I step on the podium, I look back and I think that all the sacrifices and all the tears was all worth it. Trying to balance academic and uh, my sporting commitments hasn't been easy. My days are generally more a routine than uh, most people because of my commitments. My training schedule is usually about six days a week, so Mondays to Saturdays, and then it will range up to about four to five hours each day. That's during school terms. After the last lesson for the day, I'm usually one of the first one out of class and I hop onto the shuttle service that uh, NUS has that takes me to my training venue. And after training, I just go back home. So every day is the same cycle. If you have a dream, I think take calculated risks and go for it. Because that's very important and you don't want to look back 10 years from now and say what if I had given myself the chance to do whatever I wanted to do. As a gymnast, going to the Olympic was a dream come true for me because the Olympics is the highest level and highest stage that any gymnast can compete on. I thought that I'll be able to come to terms or know what it's going to be like at the Olympics because I've competed at many other world championships but just before I marched into the arena, I realised that no, this is different. My name is Heng Wei. I'm the first gymnast to represent Singapore at the Olympics and I'm a year to undergrad at NUS Business School. No hugging, shouting without masks on, or even high fives for Singapore's Olympic athletes. While in Tokyo, they will also function in a bubble within a bubble to further minimize exposure to COVID-19 risks. 23 athletes and about 60 staff will be headed for the Games. On top of measures as spelt out by the International Olympic Committee, the athletes will stay in groups within their own sport. Where possible, they'll have to keep two meters away from everyone else. Their temperatures will be taken twice a day and they will be swabbed daily. Uh, there will be virtual team huddles to keep feelings of isolation at bay. Two psychologists are also available. Table tennis player Yu Meng Yu and badminton Lo Kin Yu have been appointed Singapore's flag bearers for the opening ceremony. This is the first time there will be one male and one female flag bearer for each delegation. Team Singapore will be competing in a record 12 sports with firsts in diving, equestrian and marathon swimming. Singapore took part in nine at the 2012 Olympics and seven in 2016. It is a quantum leap and um, that is thanks to, to, to the system put in place that has been working quite well. A professional, when faced with adversity, will find a way to work around it. And that's exactly what our athletes have done uh, in, in qualifying. Right? Because the easy way out is to use the, the, the pandemic as an excuse which our athletes obviously did not do. Yes, so we are, we are immensely proud of them. One day, you may finish first, or you may simply reach the finish line. One day, you may manage a headstand, or go beyond touching your toes. One day, you may run a block without stopping or complete a marathon. One day, 
you may overcome the biggest obstacles, including yourself. One day, you'll make it look easy, or just find it a little less hard. One day, you may win a gold, or discover a will of iron. One day, you may celebrate being the country's finest, or just being your personal best. One day, you'll break past records, or set new ones of your own. One day, it will all come together.